Have you ever wondered how you can add a touch of personalization and creativity to your projects without the steep learning curve? Well, today I'm gonna to dive into the world of laser engraving as an absolute beginner, and I'm gonna show you how you can do that too. Someone apologised to Stuart for me. <laughs> Today we're exploring the Algo Laser Alpha 20 watt diode laser engraver and its user friendly app, making laser engraving as easy as. I got offered this, this is a gift, uh, to just to test out. I was one of the first people to get it, or get offered it at least. I should have done this video a month ago, but I've been busy. Now, when I was offered one of these, I wasn't quite sure what I would do with it, but then I realized I'd be able to use it to do some merchandise. So in the future, I will be engraving these stainless steel utility knives. This one's mine, I've had it about three months. Well tested. So you'll have an opportunity to support the channel that way at some point. So my aim today is just to test out how simple this really is. Whilst I do have my laptop, what I'm gonna try and use is just their app. You normally use, is it Lightburn or this other one called Gerbil? I'm just wondering, can you just do it with the app? It's, it's going to be a complete experiment. So the actual unit itself, it took me like 25 minutes to put it together. I could definitely do it quicker, probably only 10 minutes, but I was messing about. It was a little bit more difficult than it should have been because all of this was assembled on this rack. Um, so it made it harder when you was flipping it over. We have got an air pump as well. I like the fact that that's included in the box and my understanding with an air assisted diode laser, you get less scorch marks. There was a little tool kit to put it together with the screws, these glasses. So you do get a nice thin bit of plier. You've got business cards here, a bit still to cut through, I think, because you can cut through still. A couple of bits of acrylic, piece of MDF, and then there's a thicker bit of plier as well that you can, I think it cuts through this as well. I nearly just wet my pants then. <laughs> I just plugged it in. The unit it only runs off one plug, which is good. So you don't have to get a separate plug for this, but then the power comes off of this into there. As soon as I plugged it in, this pump went on. So of course I went. But the pump has got a power thing, so you can turn it on and off there. So you're just gonna learn with me. I'm, I'm just gonna turn it on and we're gonna see if it works. In the box, you do get this welcome card. It does say on here, our main goal is to enable all small businesses and individuals to supplement their income with the help of our cutting edge laser engraving machines. I'm gonna try engraving on this bit of ply first of all, and the way that you set your focal length, this little leg thing here goes down and comes out the bottom just here. And then if you unlock the unit, you can slide it up and down. So that's in the right place. You lock it back in, push this button, and it's set. I've got the app up. It says device not connected. So I'm just gonna switch it on. Oh, need to turn it. Please refresh and try again or add manually. So I'm thinking it's not compatible with my phone. I'm gonna charge my other phone. So I just turn it on this time and this, the gantry moved and just like go in the corner. Connected. See, it's my phone. So I think it might be this phone. I'm not 100% sure because on the listing for the notifications, it doesn't list like a Google phone. I have issues with Bluetooth on this one as well. I'm connected now, as you can see on screen. Right, we're gonna go, we're just gonna try something. Should we go for a little bear? So scaling down. Scan or dot matrix? Should I just... I'm just gonna leave it on the standard. Um, let's just take this down. What's that? I'm gonna push run. Attention. Is it dangerous? The machine is abnormal. The engraving has been aborted. Why is it abnormal? It says fault indicator. When the machine encounters a malfunction and cannot perform engraving movement, 
the yellow light slowly flashes accompanied by a did sound result in the machine it cannot grave if there is a malfunction so can you tell me what that malfunction is maybe turn it off turn it on should we try that What are you meant to do? <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna work it out. I'm not sure, not sure. Right, when this comes across here, you see that there's a little screw there. This is a little switch, yeah? I assume that tells it when to stop. And over here, there's also a little thing there. So if I pull this across, it stops on that but that switch isn't hit yet so it still wants to keep on going so i'm thinking i need to move that to this one and then we'll try it again so it it's getting a little bit late now, we're losing our light. So I'm at least gonna get that little bear engraved, hopefully. We'll see how that turns out and then we'll do some more interesting stuff when we come back. That'll be after the weekend though, because I need to go and do something. That's moving a lot quicker this time. Oh, I haven't got the air on. Look at that. That's the initial one that I was doing. You can see the scorch marks on this edge where I didn't put the um, air assist on. It's probably gone like a millimeter deep. It's not as deep, but that looks proper cool. So when we come back, we're gonna have a go at this. I've done this on Photoshop the other day, that's half up. And we've got my little logo as well. Hey there, I'm back. I thought we'd move outside because it's a nice day and then we won't lose the light as much. This is a light cast aluminium. It's quite lightweight, a couple of kilograms. Makes things easier. As you can expect, there's a link in the description if you want to check this out. I couldn't tell you the exact price. There are offers at the moment. My link probably has a little bit of a discount as well. But if you're interested in it, it's like a big grown up toy, eh? And you know what, actually? Lou was saying for her birthday that she wants a 300 pound pair of boots. I'm not spending that kind of money. I'd rather put money towards this and then I can make her something. I'll tell you what I could do with like a cutting board with a grid on it, but I probably need to use a proper program for that and not the app. I think we're going to have a go at this, I assume it's birch plywood. Uh, we're going to have a go at engraving uh, something a bit more complex. Look, we've got the history there. Right. And if we go carving, I'll tell you what, we're going to change the operating mode to pro because I'm a pro now because I've used it once. <laughs> we want to click on this, that's the one we're going for. I don't need to adjust it, you can do all the brightness and everything, but I've already done all that in Photoshop. Right, so if we make that smaller. So that, what's that gonna be about 80 mil high? Uh, configure. Passwords. Oh, you can just change it, look. So what have I got? Plywood. Confirm. Oh, 
didn't like that, did it? Right, we're just gonna, we'll just do a manual override. So on their, on their website, they've got a material selection. And then for plywood, I should engrave at 100% and then it's 10,000 speed. So we go up 10,000 speed, confirm. Um, we're going for once, that's that. Laser mode, dynamic or static? Horizontal. Quality, we'll leave it on medium. Right, we'll just go with that. Uh, this looks like you can change exactly where it starts. I don't think we need to do that. Uh, command, I have no, maybe I'm not ready for pro mode. <laughs> Let's just go. Oh, you have not connected the machine. Let's go and connect this machine. Please check if the laser in focus, that, that was a good job. Good job. I like that prompt because I didn't focus it. There we go. That works. Look at his little face. Look, he's over there. Sunbathing. Offer. What doing? What doing, Offer? What doing? I don't know whether you can actually tell on like camera, but I mean that is. It's not just burn on on the front. It's actually engraved i mean that's the whole point in it but i don't know i just wasn't expecting it. i just thought it'd just burn the front um i want to try that bigger that came out all right um i think we've uh we've tried enough engraving should we try and cut something i'm not sure whether the app will be able to do it i'll that took 13 minutes. That's that's not that bad, is it? I'm going to use the MDF, 3 mil. Um, yeah, wish me luck. Okay, I think I messed that one up a little bit. <laughs> it kind of, I, I'm, I got there, but it's just not done properly now the settings that i used i i didn't align it properly because i'm still guessing and um i changed it to vector and then i done center line and i thought it would just do the center line of the actual line that i had if you understand but it looks like it done both sides of the outline i'm not really sure that i, I mean yeah it is easy to use they're easy to use properly. I don't know. It's just going to take a little bit of practice, I suppose. Should we have a proper look at it? Cute. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> that looks cool. Um, right. See, can you see like the sliver? That's where it cut both sides. I mean, it's still bloody awesome. Look. It's like a little puzzle. Would you like to sell a little little puzzles I mean it definitely cut through easy I quite like that actually Ta -da! there you go I could use it for stencils as well I wouldn't do it out of MDF course you can do like card and paper cut that kind of stuff and uh, engrave on leather stone bread overall feelings I like it it's decent it is easy to get going especially with the app but I'm just 
scratching at the surface of the capabilities of this. So I think I need to get a bit more practice in. I'm gonna carry on playing then. I've still got the acrylic and the aluminium business cards. And then eventually I need to figure out how I'm gonna engrave on this. That will be in a future video. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.